nor the rules get a ticket. Troopers are now cracking down on solo drivers in the carpool lanes. Right now, though, you can't really find many people using them. So why have the lanes at all? News 3's Kelsey Thomas is going right to the top to get the answer. She's live now near the 95. Kelsey, taxpayers paid for these. Well, Reed, we've got a lot of questions from News 3 viewers. They want to know why taxpayer money was used for carpool lanes that only a small percent of people use. We went straight to the head of NDOT for answers. I want to check out what can affect a lot of people, and that is these HOV lanes. It's the busy rush hour commute. Tom Holly in Sky 3 this morning over the 95. Only a few drivers in the carpool lane. Why do we need HOV lanes? You know, that, that is a great question. And we need HOV lanes because we're a growing community, right? That's Christina Swallow, director of the Nevada Department of Transportation. I ask her why are the now mostly empty carpool lanes the solution? But why not make it a general purpose lane that everyone could use? Because we won't be able to move as many people through the system. And that's the goal, right? You and I both want to get to work. We want to get to school. We want to get to the grocery store. And we have to move people within the space we have. HOV lanes allow us to move more people in that space. But there's nobody in the lanes. Well, we're going to work on that. Driving habits are hard to break. Andrew Bennett with the Nevada Office of Traffic Safety. So we want to make sure that people get from point A to point B safely, and that's going to be making sure that you know how to use the roadway as it's designed. So the number one thing that we're asking people to do is don't cross the double white unless it's allowed, you know, with the brake, and please slow down. But carpool lane rules could change depending on drivers. And we're going to be monitoring it and looking to make sure that we've made the right decision. And if we need to change the decision, we will at some point. And again, those carpool rules are being enforced by NHP troopers 24-7. If you're caught breaking the rule, you risk getting a $250 ticket. And in terms of people in the car, you need two or more people. Pets do not count, but kids do. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Thomas, News 3.